Hello and welcome to our Five on Five. Today we're joined by Nataki Garrett, the Artistic Director for Oregon Shakespeare Festival. Thank you so much for taking time to talk with us today. Hey, thanks for having me. I'm happy to be here. Now, I can't believe OSF is in its last productions of its first full season back and season tickets for OSF 2023 season go on sale today. How are you feeling about this? It's the end of one, a beginning of another. What can audience expect for this new season? Let's get into it. I've been saying all season that, and I can't say it enough, that this season was a miracle. It was really the result of all the hard work and dedication of our staff and offstage and on stage, our board, our longtime supporters, and everyone who wanted to see this beloved theater continue for generations. And they're the reason why we're able to reopen. So I'm really excited. I'm very happy. I'm, um, I feel blessed. Uh, that we were able to open this year and and every single every single time we had a show uh, there was a miracle. Yeah absolutely sounds like it so what are we looking forward to in the 2023 season? Um, so I don't know given what we've been through with the closures um, I'd say opening our doors is the highlight every performance is a highlight every seat filled is a highlight the fact that we had our first in season I'm sorry in person gala this year and exceeded our fundraising goal was a highlight and that we're closing the season looking towards the next season is also a highlight um, of course we're still facing challenges and we are in a recovery and we will continue in a recovery for quite some time but we know that there is a commitment in this community to keep this theater and this amazing work that we're doing going and i'm committing uh, committed to continuing its legacy of bold and innovative storytelling through Quills Fest, which is the cornerstone of our digital stage, and it's back for our second year, and also just inviting our audiences back for our in-person work. And so I'm, I'm, I'm. Everything is a highlight. It's I, I hate to be general, but coming back out of a pandemic, <laughs> that's all I can say is that everything is a highlight. Oh, absolutely. Can you give us a peek or a general rundown of what shows audiences might be able to look forward to this season? Yeah, so coming up in 2023, uh, so first, I should say, uh, the 22, It's Christmas Carol is on, is on still on sale right now, mm -hmm. and we open in a couple of weeks, and it's the zany kind of fun, uh, Marx Brothers-centered uh, version of Christmas Carol starring three of our, um, our longtime uh, company members, Mark Bernard, I'm sorry, Mark Bedard, Britton Hinckley, and John Tufts, and it's directed by the amazing Perone Yusuf Sade, and it uh, opens on November 23rd and uh, runs through January 1st, the first of the year, and that'll be in the Bomer. Um, and we're also doing a, um, a collaboration with the Oregon Cabaret Theater. Um, their, uh, their winter show is actually going to be in, in our Thomas Theater this year. So there's a lot happening at OSF this, this uh, winter. Next year. So next spring, um, we will open our season with Rent, directed by uh, Tiffany Nicole Green and uh, Romeo and Juliet, which I'm directing. And it'll be my very first Shakespeare. It was Romeo and Juliet introduced me to um, dramatic literature and to Shakespeare. So I'm really excited to invite our longtime audiences and new audiences and young people to see, um, you know, this this piece that uh, that reminds us that how how important love is, um, and how important it is that we uh, remind ourselves that the work that we do affects the generations to come. Um, and then in our uh, our Elizabethan opening, we will be having a Kristen Child's adaptation of the Three Musketeers, which I am so excited about. Like you know, swagger and swashbuckle and all of it. <laughs> And um, and then we will also have a, a beautiful production of Twelfth Night directed by um, uh, 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 Don Marie Williams. And so it's it's just a really exciting season. Closing our season will be a piece uh, by Mohegan scholar and playwright and performer um, that's called uh, Where We Belong. And uh, this is a piece that I am I have loved. I, I have loved on for the years that it has taken to bring it to light. It'll be directed by Mantio, um, one of our associate artistic directors. And so it's just this really exciting season that's coming up this year. Absolutely, sounds like it. And thanks for the sneak peek. Uh, we'll be right back after this break to talk some more. Hello and welcome back to our Five on Five. Now, I'd say Ashland has become quite the holiday destination with OSF as a major draw. You mentioned it's Christmas Carol. What would be a perfect holiday visit here in Ashland, in your opinion? 
So first I want to say that Madeline Sayed is the writer for Where We Belong. I forgot to include that before the break. Um, I love Ashland as a holiday town with a giant Christmas tree in the middle of the mm-hmm. plaza. And I love everything about every single little boutique um, in Ashland. I love going to the Alchemy for a little drink and uh, before or after the show. I love Bar Juliet. Um, we have a, a, a really exciting um, uh, top 50 restaurant called Moss. Um, but, you know, you can also go to the co-op and get something really yummy to eat and go shop in some of our shops. Like Outback is one of my favorite shops on the plaza. Um, and so Ashland is, is one of my favorite holiday cities. Yeah, that's great. It's very walkable and very local. A lot of local businesses support too. Yeah, and there could there, there uh, last year there were a couple of holiday fairs. So this year, mm-hmm. make sure if you're in town in Ashland, check out some of those holiday fairs with some of our local craft artisans. The work is absolutely beautiful, and mm-hmm. I have gotten a lot of compliments on some of my holiday gifts because I shop local. All right. Well, it sounds like a lot people have a lot to add to their calendar. Once again, Taki, thank you so much for joining us here today. Hey, thanks for having me. I'm so excited to be here. All right. Thank you.